Well, hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians. May the grace, peace, and power of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you today. My fellow Americans and Christians, Marcus Lamb, the televangelist who founded the Daystar Christian Television Network, who used this Christian network to politically spread disinformation about COVID-19, just died a few days ago from the disease. He vehemently spread misinformation about the virus to all the followers who watched his network. It is a wonder why his followers do not ask why he contacted the virus, since he was supposed to be protected by God. Not soon after he was hospitalized and all who followed him prayed for him, he died from COVID-19. Lamb's son, Jonathan, said, and I quote, This is a spiritual attack from the enemy. As much as my parents have gone on here to kind of inform everyone about everything going on in the pandemic and some of the ways to treat COVID, there's no doubt that the enemy is not happy about that and he's doing everything he can to take down my dad. I will address this in a moment. I want to give you a couple of prophetic quotes some have made. Here is one. There is a new, more powerful strain of COVID. I have mentioned it is possible the unvaxxed could die from their unbelief. Not being vaccinated when a powerful strain hits may find them waiting one day too late. Truly a prophetic word. This seems to be a prophecy that has just come to pass with Lamb. Here is another prophetic quote about Marcus Lamb. Let it be noted these prophetic words were given before Lamb died of COVID. It was said, Thus the evangelical shrewd To think otherwise is foolish. St. Paul said, I walk among false brethren. Evangelicals are revealing their roots. You find it, it is in money and politics. It's not in Christ. They may have uninterrupted propaganda, but their pulling down and uprooting is a sure vengeance. The colossal failure of Daystar followers is they have been led astray into thinking Lamb's death is not from the Lord. Yet their Bible tells them emphatically that life and death are in the hands of the Lord. Lamb's son is in my estimation implying the devil attacked his father. This is the classic mind game they all play. They twist the truth as easily as a barber handles his shears to fit their beliefs. They will do anything to denounce the truth even though it is slapping them right in the face. We find this with Lamb's son. We also found this with Franklin Graham with his most sinister words concerning Marcus Lamb's death. He said, and I quote, I was shocked to learn today that Marcus Lamb passed away early this morning from complications due to COVID-19. I know that Marcus would want each and every one of you to examine your own lives. And if there is sin in your life, that is holding you back, confess it to God and ask his forgiveness. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ today. None of us know when we will step into eternity. Graham said he was shocked, which I find hard to believe. He most likely knew of him having COVID. It is impossible for this information not to be spread throughout evangelical circles, especially among the elite. If the mainstream media knew about Lamb having COVID, how is it Graham did not? 
Was he lying? I do not know. Yet what must be seen adamantly is Graham glossed over the fact Lamb died from COVID, the very disease he preached against politically. This is significant, and evangelicals are being faced in this time with all types of lies and disinformation. On top of this, Graham has the nerve and wickedness to use a man to preach the gospel of Christ as if he was some type of saint. If you were true followers of Lamb, you know for a fact Lamb has been known to be a sinful man. This is nothing new in evangelical circles and nothing too new to Graham as he preached Trump as the savior of religion and called him the chosen one. Someone made this comment to Graham. They said, Marcus Lamb is a trumpet sound to walk uprightly before the Lord and to stay away from the Marcus Lambs. You're glossing over his of his death as a saint. It's distracting the vengeance of God because he was preaching false COVID information to Christians, reveals the Antichrist spirit you possess. What this all boils down to is a political gospel is being preached, which is not of the Lord. We are finding the reprimand of the Lord upon us. You cannot find the Lord the apostles, the epistles of revelation preaching politics. Listen to these scriptures in Jeremiah. Thou makest this people to trust in a lie. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year. You find this in Jeremiah 28. Now the following is what evangelicals preach. They say Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13. If life and death are in the hands of the Lord, how can it be denied by evangelicals a Lord moved upon lamb. If we have learned anything these past years, it's that we will encounter absurdities now and then. Evangelicalism no longer has logical thinkers as they indulge in wild and imbecilic speculations. Madmen are teaching congregations and followers what they believe to be true not what the gospel and the Bible says to be true. As we found with Marcus Lamb, as he engaged in a great deception, he was preaching anti-vax, defying and counteracting more than 750,000 dead. Businesses ruined. A nation and its churches shut down. Then to get covid is a clear message. Christian men today are madmen living on theory, not gospel. Living upon politics, not the holiness of the Lord and the power of the Holy Ghost. St. Paul said it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It seems evangelical Christians do not believe this as they defy what has happened to Lamb and, and Daystar. Listen to what someone wrote concerning Daystar. Evangelicals just had another powerful reprimand from the Lord. Marcus Lamb of Daystar loved to be political about COVID and found himself a recipient of its deadly power. Do not followers of Daystar question this as a warning? 
Dare any follower of Daystar tempt the Lord and continue to support COVID politics? In the name of the Lord? What we are finding among us is a political Christianity that is becoming the great imposter of the gospel of Christ. With evangelicals falling into it hook, line, and sinker. There is one fact buried about Judas Iscariot and it applies to our time. Judas was a disciple of Christ, but politics and money influenced him. The scriptures say with Christ present, Satan entered Judas. There can be no doubt that the devil can and has entered preachers in our time. I can tell you that the evangelical habit of conducting this controversy will be the assumption and insistence in their high tone that every opponent is a scoundrel. So they called Christ who presented them with the truth. My friends, I leave you with this today. If we as Christians can only see ourselves with the eyes of Christ, then we would be able to see clearly how we have denied him as head of the church, introduced our ideals, twisted his scriptures, led others astray, and above all, have closed his doors to who we are really are. May the Holy Spirit be with you greatly today. God bless you and may the power of God preside over you.